Get his book out now. Ah, uh, you know what it is. You need to make audio, man. Let me give you one. I'm going to tell you about... I ain't going to say no names. I ain't going to say that, 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 that but I'm going to let you know, uh, you know, we out in California. I ain't going to say which joint. I was in three joints out there, Long Park, Atwater, and uh, Victorville. Right? We out in California, and I'm chilling. This joint, I mean, every day, a police get knocked out. That's how vicious this joint was. Every day, a police get knocked out. Right? They ain't respect the law. They ain't respect none of that. You know, y'all want to be talking about like the... Uh, the black hand and the serenos. So that's, that's what we're going to talk about. They the ones that was doing all that back then. You know what I mean? They had, you know, it, it was their yard, man. You know what I mean? They had sereno, SIS, sereno police. Everything there was sereno. We in the heart. We in the heart of the, uh, we in the heart of gangbang land, you know? So we out there in California. I'm sitting there in front of my unit and this dude walk up, you know what I mean? It was his birthday. He had his uh, collar buttoned up, the one button in the top, you know, in his khaki, you know, uniform. And he had the, the bottom half was open. So when he walked, the joint sway and it was all creased up. I mean, it was fresh. So now he come walking up and he's got his little bop going on. So when he's coming up to the unit, he coming in my unit. He don't live there. He coming in my unit. So as he coming in my unit, the police stop him. So the police said, give me a shakedown. So he went, put his hands up, give a shakedown. Now, when he gave a shakedown, Police went pat him down and he had like eight bottles of, of, of Pepsi that was making wine out of Pepsi back then. I'll tell you about that later. But he had eight bottles of Pepsi strapped around his waist. So when the police asked for a shakedown, he went in, he pulled out three of them. He gave it to him. And, you know, it was a rookie police because, you know, that's normally the rule. They just want you to give them something because the tower look and hold them down with the rifles in the center of the yard and all that. So he hands them the three bottles and the police said, nah, you got some more. Give them to me. And dude said, nah, man, it's my man's birthday. We getting ready to go drink. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, police said, nah, and grabbed him to reach for the bottles. So he turns around. He hooks off on the police. Boom. So when he hooks off on the police, they get the rumbling. So now everybody crowd around. It's a bunch of his other gangbangers out there in the shop caller leaning up on the side. You know, the black hand, he leaning up over there. Because every yard got only one black hand in the feds where I was at. You know what I mean? So the black hand leading up on the cut and he watching his man, how he handling the situation with the police. They get the rumbling. So uh, he hit the police, hit the deuces. You know what I mean? That's the little button on the walkie talkie. They call them deuces. They go, woo, 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 woo. So now all the other police come running up. So as the police is getting there, you know, one at a time, because you know, it's a lot of them running down. As they come, when one police run up and try and grab dude, the black hand gave the nod. You know what I mean? And that, the next dude, he jump in and he start fighting that police. Then another police come, he give a nod to the other one. And the other one jump in. You know what I mean? So about five of them came, he gave five different uh, nods. Now you see all these, you know, Mexican brothers, they fighting the police, they rumbling. So everybody's out there looking. Like, oh shit, you know what I mean? They going at it. So now police uh, tried to shoot out the tower with the machine gun. To break up the joint but it, the crowd was so big but these dudes were so used to fighting the police and know about blind spots and all that so they backed up while they fighting swinging jabs and all that they back up and they go towards the, the blind spot where the building is blocking the tower where the tower can't shoot and they was wrecking with these police you would think that it was niggas fighting niggas or something you know what i mean or mexicans fighting mexicans or you know inmates on inmates put it that way but they fighting with them and the police fighting back we gonna get the police they props now the police was fighting back but they get the rumbling so now they couldn't really shoot to break it up so they, they i mean they going at it so they all on the ground they wrestling and you know what i mean and the black hand just pointing you know with the head telling the different ones to go so now by the time all the police come down there they come down there with the big uh, riot gun, you know, big joint with a barrel like this. So they come down there with this big joint and they shoot that joint, boom, in the air. So when they shoot, everybody stopped fighting the police and everybody. So now when they come over there, they went to go lock up the dudes that was fighting. Now all the other Mexican brothers that was there, they surround the police and was like, nah, you ain't taking our man like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's just how they hold it down out there in California, man. They got that unity. I mean, they, they, they gang banging hard body you know what I mean let's just say that so when they come and they get them they had a standoff on what it was going to do so the the black hand he just let them get you know what I mean he just let them take the ones that was fighting because they ain't got no problems owning up to their responsibility 
So, you know, they, but they was trying to just grab anybody that was out there like they normally do. But the Black Hand, the Sereno, um, they call them S-U-R-18. You know what I mean? They wasn't having it. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, if y'all been on the compound with them, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So they was, you know, putting the handcuffs on the one they were supposed to put them on. So when they was done, then the lead SIS, he go over there, he talked to the black hand and he let them know, look, we ain't gonna hurt them, we ain't gonna do nothing, we get over there, we just gonna put them in the hole because we can't let this go. And dude just sitting there like a real gangster, just listening to him. You know what I mean? And giving the head nod. But now when they get them up in the hole, um, when they take them off the compound, they open the joint back up. All the bottles of wine that fell out while they was fighting, the SIS let the Serenos take them to go drink wine with their homie for their birthday. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I, I couldn't even believe it, man. It, it, you, you know, I mean, could you imagine the police fighting them for the wine and they wind up giving the wine back after the, they was fighting them. They locked up the ones that was fighting them, but they gave them the wine back to go chill with the birthday boy. You know what I mean? But that's just how it go over there, man, just to give you a little snippet on what go on with these brothers, man, because they don't, they don't be playing. You know what I mean? They don't be playing. I just want to give you a little touch on how the black hand work, man. And you know, like one day I'm in the yard and uh, the police run down there, they fighting in the yard. They, you know, the black hand, they were disciplining somebody in the yard. So the police come run down there about 30 deep. So when they get to the gate, the, you know, the shot caller, he sits up at the gate and he tell the police, you know what I mean? Um, put his hand up like, hold up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the police didn't even open the gate to come in the yard to break up the fight. You understand what I'm saying? He let them finish knife fighting on the yard. You understand what I'm saying? Because they know if they would have went out, they, they would have stabbed them up too. So they had to wait till they was done disciplining the dude and all that. And then when it was done, you know what I mean? He gave a nod. Then they told the dude in the tower to open the joint up. And he let them in there. And, you know, they took the dude. Only the one dude that they were disciplining. You know what I mean? They, they allowed them to take him to the shoe. But the other ones that was whooping him and jumping on him, they wouldn't even let him touch him, man. But, you know, that's how that joint go, man, in the joint. You know what I mean? They know they got to work, you know, for the administration. They know they got to work with the shot callers, man. Because if not, it's too much of them out there for them to go to war with them. You know what I mean? So it's like one of them things, if you can't beat them, join them. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just a little, you know, a little joint how the black hand move. I'm going to give you a little bit more on that later. I just wanted to touch it and let you know, man, these dudes ain't nothing nice, man, but... You know, I respect them because, like I said, they on man time, you know, just like the D.C. call. You know what I mean? They on man time. A lot of people talk bad about the D.C. brothers, you know what I mean? But that's because they got young wild ones with them. But when they got old heads like, you know, like Larry Moe, Anton White, you know, rest in peace, Mario. You know what I mean? Minx. You know what I mean? When you get got, got them type of brothers out there, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, they keep the youngins in check. You know what I mean? Because they'll whoop the youngins in a minute. You know what I mean? So I just want to give a big shout out to the homies, man. But just let you know how crazy it is because they didn't even lock the jail down. They didn't even lock the jail down after none of this I'm talking about. They just dealt with the incident and just kept the moves going and went back to normal and walked back up the walk laughing with their big riot guns and all of that, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, I just want to let you know, man. But like I said to the youth, it ain't worth it. You can't imagine living in an environment where every day the police is getting knocked out. So, you know, if you get in an issue with, a, with another inmate, the police can't help you because the police is just trying to save themselves. You know what I mean? So it ain't worth it to, you know, to commit crime and talk about you want to get in the game and it's easy doing time. Ain't none of that easy. So don't say I didn't tell you. It is what it is. Stop it. You know what I mean? Stop it. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing sweet about doing time. I did 26 years in there and I'm telling you, it was hard time. You understand what I'm saying? A nigga survive because, you know, we like chameleons. Where they put us, we're going to adapt. I'm sure you would adapt too, but I'm not telling you. To, to get involved because you want to try and avoid that. Like I'm trying to avoid it. I'm an old man now, so I know better than that. But the youngins back then, they didn't know. You know what I mean? You know, I was young. I didn't know. I kept selling drugs and selling keys and running up and down the highway and I'm carrying pistols and doing everything illegal under the sun. Never thinking that they'll put me in that world for a lifetime. Life plus 20 is what they gave me. So that's what y'all looking at. If you think this thing is sweet, ain't nothing sweet about this, my brother. So don't say I didn't tell you, man, nothing sweet about this, man. But, you know, that's it. That's the one on the Serenos and the Black Hand, how they move just a little snippet. Because, you you know, you don't want me to really get in detail. But I'm going to do it in another video. I'm going to give it to you a little by little just so you know there ain't nothing nice in there. And, you know, educate you that you better off staying your ass on the street, getting a job and do what you need to do and take care of your family. Because that's what life is about. 
taking care of your family, stay on the street. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. You know what I mean? Don't forget to subscribe, man. Bye. Cheers, 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 the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime. The crime, the crime. Hey! Fresh out the can of 26, yeah. he back on the strip, uh -huh. getting back in the mix, yeah. what he mentions a gift, Trust. you stand up 10 toes down, and I suggest you pay attention to this, Real. take a little gully posse and put it in haul. Uh. he cut from the bottom, Back. came up from the bottom, Back. drop the book, you should go and get it, the Instagram it. page and the YouTube, you could go and visit, yeah. then you could consider yourself linked in, Real. sit front row and get juice from a kingpin, uh. how he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it, uh -huh. did not pay attention would be stupid, talking about the man that probably put your grandfather on probably the reason that him and your grams got along a man that generated millions on the block did his time never squilling to the cops make an audio Get, get it live like two G's in the 90s. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. What? Spin a couple bands on the dapper day. Oh. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Clear. No cap, it's a roaring uptown. Yeah. They be horn uptown, Dominican bust down. Word. Now we on the positive. Word. You we got a lot to give. Yes. Now you trying yes. to stop the kids from being an operative. Uh. So take uh. heed, homie Linda Ed. Uh. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uptown, but uptown. now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's nope. about buying property to make the community yard. So we can get back to the youth them. Uh. They to troop them uh -huh. and bless up to all the rude